In cemeteries across America, you will see them. Headstones blackened by age and the elements. What did some of these tombstones look like? They're unrecognizable. They were filled with moss. They were very dirty. And what troubled Andrew Loomish more was many belonged to veterans. What disturbed you about that so much? They were forgotten. I couldn't properly thank them. I couldn't properly understand who they were or what they were about. So uh, these were totally black. They were black. They right? were, you could not read them at all. So Loomish made it his life's goal to scrub away that grime and uncover the names on veterans' headstones so visitors would see them. And if they can't read it at all, they can't celebrate it, they can't honor that person, they can't appreciate that person. Whereas if you properly restore the monuments, you can begin an entire conversation and potentially, in a figurative sense, bring that person back to life. Loomish's regular job is specialty cleaning. Though he'd never worked on a headstone before, he developed his own method for cleaning them. I scrub, and I scrub, and I get the edges, and I get in the letters, and I get in the numbers. It could take 20 minutes, it could take two hours. And his results are stunning. This is what a gravestone from 1917 looked like before he cleaned it, and now. Most any Sunday, you can find him here. You live in Tampa, you could be at the beach. Mm -hmm. on Sundays. Yeah, I could. Absolutely. This is more fun for me. This is more fun. Hands down, seven days a week, 365 days a year. If I could do this every day, I would. He set up this Facebook page titled with his nickname, The Good Cemeterian. It's a celebration of those veterans' lives, filled with the stories of the men and women beneath the gravestones. He gets a lot of thanks from veterans and their families for what he does, but has trouble feeling like he deserves it. I am appreciative of it, but I'm unworthy of the same respect of someone who, who chooses to, to go the route to serve our country. And for someone to approach me, to show me that level of respect, uh, it's humbling, to say the least. Bringing back the names and lives of veterans, he says, is just what he does. I get to everyone eventually. Um, That's a tall order. Not if you love doing it. I mean, there are thousands of tombstones, monuments. I'm going to live a long time.